The clock struck nine when I did send the nurse. In half an hour, she promised to return. Perchance, she cannot meet him. That's not so. Oh, she is lame. Love's heralds should be like messages, which ten times faster glides in the sun's beams, driving back shadows over lowering hills. And therefore do nimble pinion doves draw love, and therefore hath the wind swift cupid wings. And now is the sun upon the highmost hill of this day's journey, and from nine till twelve is three long hours, yet she has not come. Had she affections on warm youthful blood, she would be as swift in motion as a ball. And my words are banned here to my sweet love, and his to me. But old people, many faint as though they were dead, unwieldy, slow, heavy, and pale as lead. Oh God, she comes. Oh honey nurse, what news? Hast thou met with him? Send thy man away. Peter, stay at the gate. Now, good sweet nurse. Oh Lord, why lookest thou so sad? Though news be sad, yet tell them merrily. If good, thou shamest the music of sweet news by playing it to me with so sour a face. I'm weary. Give me leave a while. Fie, how my bones ache. What a jump have I. I would thou hast my bones, and I thy news. Nay, come, I pray thee, speak. Good, good nurse, speak. Jesu, what heist? Can you not stay a while? Do you not see that I'm out of breath? How art thou out of breath when thou hast breath to say to me that thou art out of breath? The excuse that thou dost make in this delay is longer than the tale that thou dost excuse. Is thy news good or bad? Answer to that. Say either, and I'll say the circumstance. Let me be satisfied. Is it good or bad? Well, you made a simple choice. You know not how to choose a man. Romeo? No, not he. Though his face be better than any man's, yet his leg excels all men's. And for a hand and a foot and a body, though they be not be talked upon, yet they're past compare. He is not the flower of courtesy, but I'll warrant him as gentle as a lamb. Go thy ways. Serve God. What have you done at home? No, no. But all this did I know of before. What says he of our marriage? What of that? Oh, Lord. How oh, my head aches. What a head of us. It beats as it would fall into 20 pieces. My back. Oh, my back. The other side. My back. Be sure your heart for sending me about to catch my death with John Sink up and down. Aye, Faith. I'm sorry that thou art not well. Sweet, sweet, sweet nurse, tell me, what says my love? Your love says, like an honest gentleman, courteous, and a kind, and a handsome, and a warrant of virtues. Oh, where's your mother? Where is my mother? Why, she is within. Where should she be? How oddly thou repliest. Your love says, like an honest gentleman, where is your mother? Oh, God's lady dear, are you so hot? Mary, come up, I trow. Is this a poultice for my aching bones? And forward to your message yourself. You're such a coil. What says Romeo? Have you got leave to go to shrift today? I have. Then hie you hence to Friar Lawrence's cell. There stays a husband to make you a wife. Now comes the one blood up in your cheeks. They'll be in scarlet, straight at any news. Hi you to church. I must another way to fetch a ladder by which your love must climb a bird's nest soon when it is dark. I'm the drudge and toil in your delight. But you shall bear the burden soon at night. Go out to dinner. Hi you to the south. High to high fortune. Honest nurse, farewell. <laughs>